Hey guys, I'm Megan with Dollar Sprout, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Google Search Console for your WordPress blog. Before we set up Google Analytics and Google Search Console, we're going to create a new email account from within HostGator. So we're using HostGator to host this blog. When you sign in, this is what your dashboard looks like. So in the left menu, you're going to click on Hosting. And then under your domain, click Manage. Then once you get to this page, you're going to go to Webmail. From there, you should have a, a menu, a page that looks like this. This is your control panel. And on the left menu, click Email. And then under Popular Links, we're going to click Email Accounts. And this is where you can create a brand new email account that has your domain name in it. So I'm going to create an account, hello at blogwisely.com, which is our new blog that we're setting up. And then I'm going to use LastPass to generate a password. Under mailbox quota, you can change this later. So you can put um, a quota or I'm just gonna make this an unlimited amount of space for this mailbox. So I'm gonna create my account. And there you have your brand new email address. Down here under email accounts, you can click more and access, oops, access webmail. And that's gonna take you to where you can view your email inbox for that particular email. And if we had any, any mail for this email account, then we could view it here. Back in your control panel, you can click on Set Up Mail Client. And HostGator shows you all of the configuration scripts and things that you need in order to set up your email account um, on your Mac or your iPhone or Microsoft Outlook. So that way you can access your mail straight from your computer. You don't have to go to webmail and log in every time. Now that we have our email address, I'm going to go to Gmail and I want to connect. I want to open a Gmail account with my new email. So I'm on the Gmail sign in page and you can see all of my Gmail related email addresses here, all my accounts. I'm going to say use another account create an account to manage my business. And then I'm gonna put my first name and last name. And instead of a Gmail account, I'm gonna say use my current email address instead. And I'm going to enter my new email address that we just created. And then password for this. So I'm going to have to verify my email address. So I'm just going to hop back over to my webmail account and check. You can see that I have a new email and I'm going to grab my code here to verify my email address. Then finish setting up your account. Google's going to send a text to verify your phone number. When you get that, you can enter your code, verify. So you can choose if you want to add your phone number to your account to use for things like receiving video calls and messages and things like that. I'm gonna say skip. Privacy terms and conditions, agree. Now our new Google account is set up. Now that we have our Google account set up, I'm gonna to go to Google Search Console. So search.google.com slash search console. You can just do a search for Google Search Console and it'll be one of the first links that pops up. And I'm going to set up my new account. So I'm gonna enter my domain here, blogwisely.com, continue. Now, Google is going to give me some instructions here for verifying that 
I am the person who owns this site. Do you want to copy this code? Click copy, copy to clipboard, and then we're gonna go back to our HostGator dashboard. And again, this is your dashboard when you log into your HostGator hosting account. And I'm gonna click on Launch cPanel. Once you're in your cPanel, scroll down to the section that says Domains, and we're gonna click on Advanced Zone Editor. Then under Type, you're gonna select Text. Name is gonna be the name of your blog, so your domain name, blogwisely.com. Under TTL, we're gonna choose, or we're gonna enter 3600. And text data is the code, you're just gonna paste in the code that you copied earlier, and then click Add Record. Then we're gonna go back over to our Google Search Console page, and we're gonna say Verify. Ownership verified. Now that we've verified our site, we can go to property. Google Search Console is search engine focused, so you can find a lot of information in here to help with your site's SEO, like how your site is performing in search, what other websites are linking to yours, and you can even inspect any URL on your blog to make sure that Google is able to index all of your blog posts. So you definitely want to bookmark and revisit Google Search Console as you're growing your blog and as you're working on your SEO. Thanks so much for being here and watching this video. If you have any questions about how to start a blog or how to set up your blog, drop your questions in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Dollar Sprout YouTube channel for more videos like this one.